Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So, I believe we're now putting a doll in this crib for reasons that I don't quite understand. This place is haunted, I guess, and we're gonna use this to unhaunt this place? I- I guess? Oh, we've been locked in. Probably. Uh, is this, oh, I can examine it. Okay. All right. We got this, I guess. If it wants to load. There was a recent patch Another update. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh, joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Ah, interesting. Drawing of an oven. Read. Uh, you're not really reading a drawing. I mean, I guess technically you are? You look... I, I guess that really depends on what the definition of read is in this instance. Alright, let's see what we got here. Is there a dead body in the oven? That might be... That I might not be the greatest thing ever. Um. Boo. Did I scare you? Scared you, did I? Yeah. <laughs> Could tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little thing. Is this another godling? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having this sort of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. I know you are. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then- And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? <laughs> if it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. <laughs> give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just... Ah, I see. Think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. We got all Scooby-Doo here. A really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to. I don't. I won't. Let's make a deal. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange... I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. <laughs> what if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. 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 Mm. Do that, and I promise not to bother your friends. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Aw. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Fantastic. Hopefully, again, hopefully this isn't a mistake on my part. This could very well be a problem. Um, I, I could very well have just doomed this building to being, like, burnt down or something. I don't even know. Hello. You're awake. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. 
Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish, but in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. <laughs> I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. All right. So now I just have to tell this dude that his house is permanently haunted. How do I get out of here? Uh, nope. That's not it. Uh, down here. And then... Ooh, whoa. Is that light supposed to be drafting through here? Oh, well, maybe, maybe some of it is. Uh, is this the way out? Yeah, here we go. Hello. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Yeah, there we go. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I pay! <laughs> oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Alright. Fantastic. So now we go to the Golden Sturgeon and meet Corrine. And see what the deal is there. I guess we're going off this direction. Oh, what am I to do now? Swain! Ah. Uh. Ooh, I like those clouds. Ah, the fire will guide. Ah, Whoa, what is going on here? The conga line of rats. Are these all the rats from that other area? <coughs> what the heck is going on here? Are these all the rats that we took out of that other place? That is... Or this may be a glitch. Are they all supposed to be running... To, and nobody seems to care? Oh my god. That is terrifying. <laughs> Hold on. What's the... Um, what's the... The... No, no. What's the button for the uh, photo mode? Whoa, whoops. That's not it. Um, C, V, B, uh, nope, that's not that. Um, I don't remember. What was it? Hold on. I want to, I want to take a look at this. Uh, key bindings. Um... Change objective, dive, dismount, call horse, cast sign, jump, uh, is it not in here? Huh, I, control settings, I don't know. I I don't remember what it is. And I accidentally messed up, but there's something going on with the rats here. I also accidentally ate a cat potion. Hold on, let me uh meditate this away. Oh wait, no. Um What's the meditate button? <laughs> Man, I have already there we go. There we go. Now I can see better. Um, uh, I'm assuming I go in here. She in here somewhere? Oh, looks like I go upstairs. Over in the back corner. This room? There we are. Nice. 
All right. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Okay. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this world. Oh, are we going to get flashbacks? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. Woman's name is Siri. Um... She was there when I died. Uh, so at the beginning of this game, we had the training sequence at Kaer Morhen, so that might be... Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I, see. I love that there's sounds of other things going on. Uh, yes? If we're gonna get the strongest, yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. Oh, okay. So this is just like flashback information. It was in Rivia, the second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For God's know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Ah. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Uh, I could just go through the list here. Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. Um... I accepted a job once, did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolong forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolong with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then, but already I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing? To I think there's only them? one more left. It's very interesting to get this uh, dialogue no perspective. We have time. Uh, this seems like it's the last one. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when. Jennifer first called Siri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs, slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. <laughs> You claim the woman has abilities. The first time. Tell me about them. Um, ooh, the Lady of Space and Time. Uh, let's start here. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers, I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Uh, yes. I, I would like to hear all this dialogue. Yeah, 
There's something else. What do we got? Um, the Lady of Space and Time. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Uh, I believe there is one left. Yeah, there's something else. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. <laughs> I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Uh, Jennifer and Triss. Well, she's not with Jennifer and Triss, so it might be Dandelion. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> it's like a therapy session. Whoa, the... He's yelling at the birds. Who is he talking to here? That's a sparrow. Oh! Didn't we see the bird inscribed on stuff on the walls before? So maybe that's a uh, reference to maybe Siri is the bird. A swallow. A swallow Not a sparrow, a swallow. First. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams come multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rose. Uh. Yeah, what is that? The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. Oh my god. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. All right. So now I guess we're going to see Dandelion, which I'm surprised we haven't run into him in this game yet because he was kind of the narrator of the first two games. And this one seems to be because like the first two games seem to be take seemed to have been taking place in the past. <laughs> What's going on here? What happened? Islanders from Skellige. They've taken over crippled Kate. Taken over? How's that? Clobbered the innkeeper, tossed out the girls, then set to drinking. They've been going since yesterday. Apparently celebrating some big loot. Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. Alright, I'll help. 
That's exactly what I was going to say anyway. <laughs> really? So there are good men left in the world. Um, okay, let's track that quest. Get rid of the drunk Skelligers. Skelligers? Sorry, mate. Gotta fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skelliger today. Nah. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. <laughs> rules you happen to be breaking. Just how's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a Skelliger. Um. Let's see me settle this man to man. This is this a boxing fight? I don't have time to go back and forth on this. Let's do this quick, man to man. You what? Damn it! What you want to do, man to man, with me? Invite me into the alcove? No, P brain. Challenge me to a duel. <laughs> I win. You take your mates and get out of here. Ah, why didn't you say so? I'm always up for smacking a man about the girls. Ow. I'm stuck in the corner. There we go. Just wail on him. I did it. Fine, fine. Enough. Great for his pets. That sobered me up quick. Gents, let's go now. Have our fun elsewhere. There we go. It's not worth shite of a weak arm swinging it, eh? <laughs> and there they go. Fantastic. You having trouble with the stairs there, buddy? You wanna... You need some help? I can, uh... Push you out through the door if you need it. Um... I'm gonna check my watch. <laughs> it's taking a little bit of time. You wanna... There, there you go. Don't, don't have too much trouble there. Gods! I did it. Thanks so much. We not have managed on our own. We're not rich. But I hope this is enough. It's plenty. Farewell. 15 crowns? Sure, that works for me. Um, okay, now where am I going? Find a boat headed to Skellig. Skelliga. Oh, am I... Wait, what am I doing here? Is this a different... Oh, no, wait. Go to the Rosemary in time. Uh... No, hold on. I'm not going to Skelliga. There we go. Fantastic. Well, that was a quick and easy, uh, a quick and easy side quest there. And I'm going, where am I going? Going over here somewhere. All right. This place is a lot bigger than it looks. Alright, the Rosemary in time. I guess I go... Wait, what was... What the heck is going on here? It's a floating... Floating short bow? Or is that a saw? That's a saw. Why is there a saw floating here? It's so weird. Locked. Um... Do I have to come back in the daytime? Oh, I guess I go in through the other door. Next time I'll rip your fucking ass <laughs> and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Fantastic. Gear up in the nick of time as always. Zoltan. With your boot to someone's ass, as always. <laughs> Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. 
Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There we go. Yeah, almost like we never left Bergen. You guys gonna leave? Good. Get out of here. Oh, uh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods of day. Ages. <laughs> hey, Sultan. You look good. Oh, that was Been great. Plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. Absolutely. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the wild hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem. Is he missing? I have a feeling that he's missing. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Well, just barely returned, as you saw. Expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. There we go. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. All right. Time to do some... From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous <laughs> digits are my soul's yearning chords. Great. Annual balladry contest. Silver laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Hereward himself did the honors, and the feast afterwards, to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught a swine to yodel, and I... Ugh, another time. What do we have here? This was glowing when we came Ten in. barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. What? It says planner. <laughs> huh. Dandelion and planning, good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. The dog? Ah. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Ah, uh, that could help. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. <laughs> hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. 
Meet me back here when you're done. <laughs> Show my findings. Right, you up? Oh, everything's in rhyme. Yeah, we better tidy in for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. All right. So I need to read. Uh, I guess I need to read the thing. Quest items. Uh, re read there. Uh, Rosa Var a tree. A rose like a rose like a rose of passion. It's humorous in hue. It's humorous blue. Shunned lessons and civility. Sw to swing her dwarf with agility. Charming garden enclosed villa in Gildorf. Uh, touch of silk and lace. She shuns not straw when gripped in less embrace. Uh, next to the morgue. Uh, dude, dude, for had a big tipper. <laughs> uh, laundry near the mouth of the pontar. Uh, the bits near Popper Square and the tailor shop across from the tannery. All right. So now, I guess we're gonna go and talk to each one of these people. Oh, and I leveled up. Fantastic. I'll take those points. Uh, that's not the... Hold on. Character, here we go. Again, we're going with sign... Um... Oh, I can now add a bunch more here. Fantastic. Sign intensity plus 20. And, okay, yeah, so I want those there. Um, let's put that there and this here. Oh, wait, oh, I already had that. Uh, and I want to upgrade this delusion, and we'll put that there. So I've got six, and that's all I need. Fantastic. Do I have what have I got here? Um, plus five sign intensity, plus five, plus five. And this one's, why is this one 20? I don't understand. What happens if I do that? Is that better? I don't quite know. Common item relic. Yeah, and that's the wrong color. Oh, it gets a bonus because it's the same color. Okay. All right. I just try to figure that out. Um. All right. So now we go talk to someone. Uh, just go talk to people, I guess. Vespula, Elethal, Marabella, Molly, and Rosa Var Atri. Uh oh. Are these all gonna have some kind of I will get you every last copper. thing going on? Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! It's like the Joker gang. Stupid wench. What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. <laughs> Keep out, this <clears throat> grayhead. Not your concern. Got new protection. This pew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Uh, the King of Beggars. The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. That might be a problem. I just completely lied through my teeth there. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think that a men will help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness. And you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. <laughs> you that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh. Dreadful sorry. Explain something if you don't mind. 
You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Song. He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. Fantastic. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshit. He came back <laughs> saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Wow. <laughs> Wait. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. <laughs> uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. <laughs> this woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Uh, fantastic. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two faced snake, but <laughs> it would be nice if he dropped by. Fantastic. So I'm assuming we're gonna just get like little tiny snippets of useful information from any of them. Uh and then none of them are gonna give us a completely useful answer. Unless we take them all into account at the same time. This is fun. <laughs> there we go. I guess we're going in here now. Welcome, welcome. Do come in. Um you're Elhile? I'm a friend of Dandelion's. Looking for Elihal. Elihal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elihal? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. <laughs> Sorry, I thought. Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. Uh. What? Oh. <laughs> Any better? I see. <laughs> so you are. Elihal. Did you and Dandelion. I mean. How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Of course. I think that's good enough there. Don't think I want to know what happened next. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest me. I told him that from the start. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Ah, okay. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins. Insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Talk about what? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. Kalkstein? If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, I desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters uh -oh. nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings-on impressive. 
fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. What did it say? Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I know this is none of my business, but why do you? Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexity Understandable. of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a Doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. <laughs> Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. <laughs> All right, that's about all the information we've got from you. Help. And uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Fantastic. All right. Either way, I think that's about all the time we've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you liked the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night, and we're going to go talk to the rest of these... Well, I guess I now can't assume they're all ladies. Uh, we'll go talk to the rest of these people tomorrow. Bye-bye!